everyone welcome back to the sew along I am so happy to have you back now we're going to be doing attaching the bodice together like assembling that whole bodice and attaching the collar in this video so what I did is I took that bodice front and then the bodice front lining and then the two back pieces and I arranged this in what I call a ring I'm, we're going to be assembling these together and um, and that lovely ring construction so um, and I kind of realized that the shoulders were off, so I referred back to the pattern pieces, and I trimmed that up. I was I was wrong here. I, I cut it on the wrong line, so I'm just marking the line that I should have cut it on, and I trimmed it up. You may have not made this mistake, but I did, and, and here, here I am fixing it. So, anywho, um, I sewed the shoulders together in a circle, like I said, that ring method that I love so much. I sewed all the shoulders right sides together, and then... I opened up the um, that seam and ironed her open. So you can see that the bodice will come together. The front pieces together and the back pieces fold on to themselves. And so that front piece, that like bodice lining will come you know, to the bodice and the back pieces, half of the back will be for the garment right side and half of that back will be for the lining. I love, love, love this little method. So then I iron that all down and I iron it kind of just to, you know, give it a nice pressing, but also to press creases into that back marking, you know, the, the change from where it, it's going to, you know, be that right side of the fabric or right side of the garment rather to the lining. I like to have a crease there just, just for reference. So I open it back up and I base the collar in place. Now, before I did this, I put a zigzag in the collar okay and a zigzag is a very wide loose zigzag one that is easy to pull out but having a zigzag keeping the top of the collar together it's just a nice way to make sure there's no gap in the um, between the two collar pieces and having a gap it's not the worst thing it just doesn't look as polished you know what I mean so just put a little bit of zigzag in there a wide zigzag that's easy to take out and you won't have that issue so I base the collar in place, you know, putting the center front of the collar to the center front of the, of the garment and just baste it around. And then I put it back together. So I first match those shoulder seams together and I put a pin in there and then I match everything else up and kind of give it an ironing again. And then I sew that collar around, you know. And then I trim up that seam, I clip the curves and I turn the bodice right sides out. And then I understitch. So to understitch, I'm going to take that entire seam over to the lining side of the garment. And then with the right side of the garment facing up, and you know, I've got my seam uh, to, to the lining side and the right side of that lining facing up, I'm going to stitch right really, really close to where that seam is. Just a hair over on that lining side. And what this is going to do is going to prevent the lining from rolling up um, onto the right side of the garment. It just makes it a uh, polished, it's just a, a polished, you know, what am I trying to say? It just polishes off the garment nicely. <laughs> um, makes everything lay nice and flat. Um, so there you have it. That is how you assemble the bodice and put in the collar. That's all we're going to do for this video. So I will see you in the next one. Of course, if you have any comment, questions, put them in those comments down below and I will do my best to answer them. And as always, I appreciate y'all for watching and I hope to catch y'all on the next one.